Me. All right, here we go. We got Andy Burdick here, Melgus Performance Sailboats, helping us out. We have the first start here for the Melgus 32 Gold Cup 2008 on the water anarchy, brought to you by Slam, Point Loma Outfitting, and Lattice Yachting Solutions. Just having a bit of a, a stuff up here with nightmare and dark and stormy down here below the, the boat. And you can, you can see the boats lining up here. We're just under a minute here, maybe 30 seconds. Got Star here. Middle of the line. Andy, what do you see shaping up? A lot of guys like the lured end. It looks like it's lured favored right now. You got Q, who's got a big build up of speed. He's got a good start at the lured end, probably the start of the fleet, boat speed wise. Look and at that. Angle -wise. Q is gone. Look at them going. They got a good start at so the lured Q end. Q wins the pin. We'll see. It's very shifty and light here. Look at these boats here. A lot of boats late, obviously. You know, there's some rusty shit going on. Um, and a lot of people haven't sailed the boat in a while. Uh, you got Nightmare here at the boat, tacked over. A lot of boats here tacked over, but Q still the class of the fleet right now, all the way out there at the pin. Yeah, Blixum has a good start. So does New Wave, Mike Carroll's boat. Wow, well, and New Wave, Wave, New Wave we picked as a possible spoiler here too. So we're going to see how these guys shape up at the top mark, but at the moment, Q and New Wave look great. Um, guys on the right, not so good compared to that top mark, which is all the way up here. We're going to pace them for a bit. One thing about these boats is even in six knots of wind here, everyone's on the rail powered up. So yeah. the boats are going fast. They're powered up. The crew's hiking. They're great boats even in this condition. Well, we know you like them. We love them. <laughs> Andy, how come you're not sailing this weekend? Because I'm here with you, Mr. Queen, <laughs> doing interviews. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Did you, could you not make weight for Star? <laughs> no, I was not sailing them. I'm here doing this and sailing the Mogus 20. That's right. Well, we're going to get, we're going to get a chance to uh, do some more good stuff on the 20 later. But in the meantime, this looks like a hell of a fleet. Obviously, um, an interesting start and it's going to be, it's going to be really wild to see whether that left paid the way that Q looked like it was paying. And they were a good five seconds ahead of anybody on the course. Yeah, easily off the, off the starting line. Now everyone's on port, sailing uphill here, and Q is still looking strong on the left side of the course. Yeah, they sure are. A lot of boats in bad air trying to sail the lifted port angle. A few of them now are having to tack back to the left. We got Kilroy's boat, had to tack back to the left. That Samba just there just tacked over, yeah? Yeah, Barbarians had to tack over to the left. We got Star. Right here, bound number 17 in the USA 32. Yeah. With Jeff Eklund and Harry Melgus sailing in some bad air just to sail that port angle. There is some velocity out here to the right. Yeah, we're just seeing some white caps out here on the right. That pressure may equalize um, some of that left advantage that we saw over at the start. Here's Argo has. crossing over here on starboard. See what happens. Yeah, I think it has already. This pressure on the right hand side of the course. Is helping out the guys that had difficulty on the right end of the line. So, Ed Tillinghast here in 151, Nightmare, bound number 13. These guys are legging out to the right, and they look pretty strong, really. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how it shakes out here in a little bit. All right, we're going to go put this up on the web. Thanks, Andy.